okay so today i'm discussing about the uh, uh, pricing procedure okay so pricing procedure there is a one more name that is called calculation schema okay so about it is the same okay so what is the pricing procedure okay so when we are purchasing the materials from the vendor okay there are so many pricing condition techniques which is impacting on the my price okay so if suppose let's say i have one product i'm planning to buy the one product okay so let's assume that uh, let's consider one television okay so i'm just planning to buy this product okay so the basic price will be different and the taxes will be different the fry charges will be different the discount will be different and the packing charges will be different loading and loading charges will be different any additional charges will be different okay there are so many to many pricing elements will be impacted on the my pricing okay so how you can design the client requirement okay how you can design the client requirement okay and what pricing components they required how it is calculating again okay because sometimes what will be happened the freight might be they are calculating on the basic price or sometime what will be happen including tax and without tax they are calculating okay so how it is impacting sometimes what will be happen freight is a statistical uh, charge statistical charge is nothing but like a, it is a not impacting on the my net price of the product but it is a uh, we are paying the amount to the separately to the freight vendor okay that is a separately calculated to statistical value which is not impacting on the my net price okay so it is very important what kind of the pricing procedure what kind of the formulas they are using what kind of the structure they are using okay uh, for the pricing procedure this is very very important for each and every company okay okay so so there might be different pricing procedure for the service procurement there will be a separate pricing procedure for the domestic purchasing so there will be a separate to pricing procedure for the import pro procurement and there were some rate to a pricing procedure for the consumption direct consumption so it will be different different when there is a uh, when the client uh, is looking into different way you need to be defined okay you need to be defined the structure how the uh, the client which is looking into that okay okay so did you understand that what is actually pricing procedure what is the use of the pricing procedure Do you understand that what is a pricing procedure? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, now, how the system is calculating the pricing procedure? Because I said that how the system will understood that whether this is the procurement is consumption procurement or it may be domestic purchasing or it may be service purchasing or it may be import purchasing. How the system will understood that? How system will understood that? based on the vendor right because import abroad vendors are different vendors and uh, import vend and uh, domestic vendors are different again you know, domestic i can differentiate the service vendors are different so based on the account group i can differentiate right can i differentiate or not yeah we can right so here the major the major major one is here how it is calculating the price imposure it based on the what purchasing organization because the purchasing organization people are the, they are the main person who is dealing with the, all the pricing and everything so the main that when there is a different pricing procedure there is a different purchasing organization the, this might be they might be have a different pricing structure okay so the main factor is here uh, the system will be considering that what is the pricing what is the purchasing organization okay that is the one factor which is considering the second factor is okay vendor okay if it is a domestic vendor i'm just assuring that okay this is a i'm just informing to the my team this is a domestic vendor or i'm just informing to the sap boss this is the domestic vendor so always you should be measure that diff, this different uh pricing project for the domestic and the different pricing project for the import okay clear is it clear yeah okay now how the system will be calculating that pricing procedure 
okay so how that configuration let's go with the configuration okay so she so has we so did you remember that we uh did uh recently there will be a condition tables we created and uh, access sequence we created right did you remember that for the batch management yeah right okay so in this process also there is the same okay uh which is like we are creating the condition table first okay so why it is required condition table okay so condition table have the parameters okay like the the what combination like combination of the fields combination of the fields which we are considering which we are considering to uh capture the price okay so let's say suppose let's say material number okay our material number and plan and vendor so when these two or three combinations when these three combination when i maintain that suppose 100 iphone 100 material okay plant will be 1100 uh, and vendor is 1000 so then the price the price i'm just defining like 100 usd okay when the same material okay with the different plant okay are maybe a different vendor or the same vendor they might be it is a 120 dollars okay the same material again the same material okay the same plan but different vendor again okay there might be price will be the 150 dollars so the combinations will be the change always so how the system can be captured how the system will be captured the pricing condition how the, uh, how the system will be captured at the grass price okay then uh, that will be the maintaining in the tables first so we are defining first we are defining that a number of combinations like i can uh, define like one one table for the material and plant co vendor combination and another another combination like material and I, I will not go to a plant i will be go this time purchasing organization i will be go with vendor combination okay or else i can go with the vendor or plant combination and the metal group combination okay so like i can go different different combinations i can create so how we can know that which combination is like we are creating the condition table okay so we are creating the condition table in this condition table we are selecting that the combination okay each combination have the one number okay so like i'm just creating 901 condition table then it is the combination of material plant vendor and if i just create a 902 then this condition table is okay material purchasing organization vendor and if i create a 903 then this combination is vendor plant and material so so you created this condition tables and uh, the fields and all so where exactly it will be helpful okay so when there is a search strategy you are defining what is the meaning of the search strategy you are searching the uh, price based on the combinations okay so there will be the access sequence okay there will be the access sequence that we are defining like if suppose i not i want to be uh, capture the grass price okay let's say i want to be capture the grass price okay now this grass price which is assigning to the access sequence okay this access sequence have the n number of combinations n number of combinations which is like uh, tables n number of combinations that is condition tables combinations which is uh, we define like top right that means it is like 901 902 903 so what will be happen okay if i just assigned okay in this access sequence is assigned to the gross price let's say pb00 is the my condition type pb00 is the condition type i'm just defining that access sequence is triple zero two okay suppose i'm just created access sequence is triple zero two okay for identity number then this access sequence we are assigning that the condition tables okay so the condition tables have what i just said i can assign one condition table or i can assign a number of condition tables now i am assigning that 901 and 902 and 903 okay like i am just assigning that so what will be happen now okay now i'm just planning to maintain the price after my material 
that is the gross price of the material okay now when i just enter the pv00 to maintain the condition record where i am just maintaining in me k1 for mm pricing procedure pricing condition type okay so we are condition records we are maintaining in the me k1 okay so what will happen when you are uh, planning to maintain the pb00 okay then the system will be checking that this pb00 is connected to triple zero two this triple zero two is connected to this condition table then the system will give that options like okay what combination you want to be maintained like uh, what is the combination we have here one combination is this one okay and one combination is this one and the another combination is this one okay so it will give that okay you can choose what combination you want okay what combination you want we choose so if i just like I, I will go like this one if i just maintain the price in this combination then when i'm just creating the purchase order okay when the system is matching this material number when the system is matching this plan when the system is matching this vendor these three combination when it is matched the system automatically capturing the price information from the condition record which we maintain in ME K1 to PO. So this is called automatic price capturing. Automatic con price condition capturing. Okay. Okay. So that's what if you remember that we're talking about that PB00 or PBX. What is the meaning of what is the difference? Both I can see that PB00 is also gross price. Okay, and uh, PBWX also gross price. So what is the difference here? PB00 manually enter. PB00 is the time dependent condition type. Okay, time dependent condition type is nothing but like okay, we maintaining that the condition records. Condition record it will be captured automatically. Okay, in the PO and PBWX is the manual entry. This is not time dependent. It is a time independent condition type. Okay, so time independent condition type is nothing but like a manually you are entering. Manual entry is possible for this condition type in PO. Okay, so that is the difference between the PB00 and PBWX. Clear? So that means. I don't need to be enter this PB00 manually. If they, you already maintain the condition record in ME K1, okay, the combinations like which I maintained at all, then the system automatically capturing this price information to the PO where it is searching all the combinations and it is capturing here. Clear? So why we calling this time dependent? Because there is a validity period is there. Validity period. Okay, so the from and to dates we are defining that. When we are defining from and to dates, okay, that means it is a valid from when you enter the date and it is valid till what date you entered. Okay, so example I'm just giving that. Okay, so so I just maintaining that. Okay, uh, there will be a cement. Okay, bag. Okay, one bag cost is. I just the vendor is saying that okay, uh, this is like uh, uh, twelve thousand rupees. Okay, twelve thousand rupees per bag. Okay, let's say it. Okay, now he said that it will be only valid. Okay, till March twenty twenty four. Okay, so from it is when it is today, from today date to till March twenty fourth. Then after March twenty four twenty fourth. Again, this cost he said that one bag is cost is it is like a thirteen thousand. Okay, so this will be valid when it is valid from April first, two thousand twenty-four to maybe he defined like to December two thousand twenty-four. That means I'm just saying that April thirty-first and May thirty-first day month end. Okay, so I'm just giving that exactly date I have to give. Okay, so when Till March 24th, March 31st, March 30th, 2024, till that date, the price automatically picking like 12,000 rupees. 
Okay. Then when I'm just planning to create a PO on April 1st, then system will be capturing this price, not above price. Because the time dependent, it is, it is controlling that the time from until that it is validity is done. Now it is a new validity. Clear? Yes. And and how it will work this time dependent? How we know that whether this is a time dependent condition type or time independent condition type? Suppose I, I my client they are using some customization pricing procedure or customization condition that they are using. Okay, they are not using PBW or PBWX. Something they are using different condition type. So how we know that? So in that case, what you need to do, you must be check that in this condition type, whether it is assigned any access sequence. Okay. Whether it is assigned any access sequence. So what scenario, sir? What scenario means? Uh, if you are regularly maintaining the time dependent, you can maintain. It is not scenario. See, every, suppose, let's say, gold is there cold what will be happen every day the price will be changed right so if suppose i am the supervisor or maybe i'm the subordinate or i may be clerk okay let's say i'm the clerk i'm creating the pivot because the superior and subordinate they are not creating pivot i'm just they are saying that you create uh, 10 000 pieces just create a pivot okay i'm just creating the pivot now i don't know price I don't know what is the price of this metal because the, my superior and subordinate they didn't say anything about it. They said simply create for 10,000 pieces today order to this vendor. This is the material. He didn't give any price conditions or nothing. So what will be happen? I have the bl blind mark like okay, what is the price? I don't know. Okay, if the already the my superior or subordinate they created the condition record, so I don't want to be wait for the them because it is already capturing the information. Right. Right or wrong? Exactly. So, so to skip at the time of PO entering the manually, I can maintain the time dependent condition type. So that the system will be capturing based on the dates, based on the date, it will be automatically capturing. Because my pricing uh, negotiations all will be done by my purchasing organization people or maybe my superiors. So they will not create every time the pivots, right? I'm creating thousand pivots today. The superior as uh, the manager, they will not be create the pivots. Okay. So the initial they will be validated in the condition records. Okay, well, this is the price which we are maintaining. So furtherly, next one week or two weeks or three weeks, one year, this is the price which will be go. Okay, clear. Is it clear? Okay, again. You can maintain for the fright, you can maintain for the discounts, you can maintain for such as additional discounts or anything, whatever it may be pricing condition, you can maintain that condition because if you want to be maintained, you can maintain. Or maybe if I don't know what is the price at the time of condition record. So at the time of PO, they are saying that now you just create this PO because still it is the negotiation going on. So currently we do, we need very emergency, you will need to be create a PO. So the price is 200 rupees. So manually, I'm just entering that case. Because still they they are still going on price conditions. There is still going on negotiation. But at an emergency, I just need to create today one PO. So in that case, I can enter the manually. Clear? Is it clear? Mm -hmm. Okay. Any questions still here? Susil, Ram, and Sinker, Yogesh. No questions. Okay. 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 Now, okay. So somebody listen message. What is it? Okay. No. Okay. Now let's go to the configuration. What we need to do first. I just in, as I informed that. Okay. So first, I need to create the condition tables. What combinations you want to be create? You can create the tables, condition tables. So in the standard, we already have the condition condition tables. So you should not touch that. Okay, you can use that condition table, but you cannot. You should not modify anything. Okay, only if you want to create any new condition tables, you should be start with nine zero one, and and with triple nine because it's a three digit slide. Okay, so between the nine zero one to nine triple nine, you can create a, your own condition tables, your own combinations you can create. Okay, is it clear? 
Yeah. Okay. Then the second, uh, the second question. Okay. Now we are creating the axis sequence. Okay. So in this axis sequence, okay, the, we are assigning this condition tables. If you created that uh, n number of combination, like three, four combinations, that can, combinations you can assign in the one axis sequence. Okay. As I said, that triple zero one, triple zero two, triple zero three, triple zero four, n number of you can create. Okay. Even axis sequence also, n number of axis sequence where it is required, maybe different different condition table, condition types, fried condition type, okay, discount condition type, or it may be okay, uh, tax related or something, whatever it may be, it is related. Okay. So did you understand why I'm just assigning the condition tables in the axis sequence? Because it is a search strategy which is will be defining like such strategies, how the system will be searching that pricing components, pricing procedure based on what combinations it is we are defining here. Okay, then third, we have the standard condition types, which is like PB00, PB00, XR, FRA1, FRB1, FRC1, HB00, like we have a number of condition types are there. Each and every pricing condition type will be defining for the one, different purposes okay now if you want to be create your own condition types also you can create okay clear so condition types how that we have pb00 pbwx fra1 frb1 frc1 okay h00 hb00 like we have multiple it is there okay so in this here what will we have? We are assigning the access current where it is required time dependent condition type. There I'm assigning the my access sequence, which I created in the top. Okay, clear. Okay, so that what will be happen when I'm planning to maintain some gross price or fright or something, the system will check that whether it is assigned any access sequence, then it will be again that access sequence will check that what condition the tables are there, and the, again the condition table have what combination it is maintained okay based on that that system will be searching the price in the pivot okay clear is it clear yeah please. okay okay now fourth one is schema pricing schema okay pricing schema or condition technique or it may be pricing procedure all it is the same so here what we are doing Okay, we are defining the structure, pricing structure, pricing component structure. Okay, so what is the pricing component structure like? Okay, if suppose I have a base price, okay, under this base price, okay, basic price it is, suppose let's say PB00 or PBWX. Okay, we have both, it is by gross price. Under this PB00, PBWX system is calculating the discount. Okay, then it is calculating that any surcharges which is there. Okay, then the system is calculating that finally that is net value, net value which is including that uh, gross price and discount and such. Right? Again, we are adding that uh, input tax code. Okay, then net value including tax, net value including uh, tax. Okay, then again I can add the fright. Okay. Then I can add something if any additionally, which is packing charges, those it is a statistical charges that you can enter. Then total amount and total impacted amount and the, net, the total amount which is impacted on the price. So that will be entered like this one. Okay. So like you must be understand that client requirement. Okay. And then you must be designed that how the system needs to be calculated. How system needs to be uh, calculate the price. Okay how system needs to be calculate this value if suppose 10 percent discount is there then what value it is 10 percent discount is it on gross price or it is on net price or it may be on the total amount or effect to price what is actually so you must be designed that structure okay so in this pricing component structure pricing structures okay we have uh, 16 fields are there okay each field having the own functionality how it will be like what is the type of the condition and what is the description of the condition, whether you want to be print in the output, okay, this price you want to be negotiated, you want to be informed to the vendor, or it may be what value to what value it will be calculated, whether it is a statistical or not, okay, whether anything which is like um, 
uh, account key like if it is separate account GL, GL account need to be post what accruals and account keys which we need to be maintained okay if anything customization you want to do any formulas you want to be designed then what your comment type you want to design that totally it is 16 fields are there okay each fun each field have the own functionalities okay so once you design this pricing component structure okay once you design this pricing component structure what you will do you are creating the schema group for vendor okay just for reference okay i'm just creating the one group id for the vendors okay which is like domestic schema group import schema group to differentiate the uh, vendors okay to differentiate the pricing okay and again i'm just creating the schema group for vendor so schema group for uh, purchasing organization okay because i said that domestic purchase organization when import purchase organization or service purchasing organization or it may be cross purchase organization okay so when i'm just created for the purchasing organization and when i'm just creating them for the vendor what i will do i'll be assigning these two combinations okay i'm just assigning the schema group for vendor okay let's say schema group for vendor is domestic vendor okay then plus the combination like schema group for purchasing organization okay so that is like suppose a uh, thousand is my purchasing organization which is like central purchase organization which is handling only domestic okay then when these two combination then i can assign that what pricing schema which you de design for the domestic that pricing schema you can assign here like example one rm double zero double zero or triple zero or something which you can do okay like you can create a number of structures you can define and you can assign the combinations which is okay so when you define like this one okay now sir you can ask me question sir vendor is the master data and purchasing organization is the configuration okay so here i don't know what is the vendors here when i don't have the vendor list because you are doing all its configuration i don't know vendors okay that's what what we are doing here schema group for vendor we just the creating that reference number okay it is not exactly the vendor okay, it is just giving that domestic schema group but in this case what will happen i can assign here assign this schema group it's assign this schema group for purchasing organization to to actual purchasing organization it may be thousand or it may be two thousand or it may be three thousand whatever it may be here in the configuration itself you are assigning here but this is the just reference only so when it will be added here okay when you are creating the vendor master record when you are creating the vendor master record there okay as per the vendor you must be informed that okay i just need to be used the schema group for vendor okay i must be used for the schema group for vendor okay which is like domestic if it is a domestic vendor okay so this we need to be assigned here okay it may be suppose let's say example i'm just creating like 0 1 is for domestic and 0 2 is for the import and 0 3 is for the service and 0 4 is for consumables like 0 5 the sets like i'm just creating okay so you can assign like based on the vendor you can assign and the combination which you like here uh, 0 1 and 1000 okay 0 1 and uh, combination and thousand combination which is like i'm assigning the this schema this pricing procedure okay so this is the whole configuration tree. so any questions here any questions no here questions. Okay. no questions so, so, yeah uh, what about others yogesh and ram sankar Any questions here? Okay, let's go to the configuration, then maybe you can ask the questions. Okay. Where is Sushil? Ram, he left her. I'm here, sir. Okay. Okay. So now uh, let's go to the condition table first. So let's go to create a condition table. How to create a condition table first. Okay. 
go to spro okay then uh, mg settings then go to material management then go to purchasing then go to conditions there is the conditions here there is conditions then go to pricing determination procedure and here you can define the first condition table you need to be assigned the first condition table so maintain the condition table here okay so we have already some standard condition tables we have so you can if you want to use the same combination you can use there is no issue is that there's several different combinations are there okay if suppose you want to be create your own condition table format you can create okay so i'm just creating that okay let's see what condition tables it is already available might be in the customizer also i just need to check that what nine series what it is created okay so everyone they must be created in nine series right 926 927 928 929 okay so i'll just create first uh, go to create condition table and i will be creating the 901 first i'll be creating for the 901 okay so 901 is the condition table okay so it is already there somebody it is already there it is saying okay now let's go to 902 let's see 902 also it is there then 903 okay 903 also it is there let's go to 904 904 also it is there okay, 905 okay 905 also it is there okay 906 okay 906 it is not there okay so here where the table will be saved in this table as we discussed the last time so where exactly it is to saving this one so each and every table will have the condition table have the one parameters like okay see suppose i have the 901 okay this is the one combination okay a902 this is one combination okay a903 this is one combination okay like b901 okay this is one condition table okay so like we have different different pricing projects will be there okay so each pricing condition type will be saved in the different different tables okay so let's go to first to what is the plan 901 which what is the combination i want to create uh, I'm, I'm i'm planning to create like a material and uh, plant and the vendor so the that upper always it is better that the material will be lower level because okay might be this vendor can supply the n number of materials okay in that case okay better you always capturing this material number in the lower and always the plant and the purchase organization vendor will be the top level okay if suppose you are saying that okay the same material maintaining the n number of vendors then this is correct because i, I just planning to maintain for this material at a higher level and the lower level will be multiple vendors okay i'll just give you i will just show you that how it will works okay now i'll be go to uh, here i'm just to material plant and vendor combination right so i'll go here okay so let's see that where it is material number is there okay it is not there then click on arrow down okay then i'll be checking again okay there is no then again i'm going down then i'll be go to material okay now here it is there what you need to go just double click on that double click on that then it will come to left side okay clear okay so now i captured the material then now plan okay let's see again plan it is there here then i will double click on that material plan now my planning is vendor so where is the vendor okay let's see that and just coming down okay just coming down there is no nothing is there in the top i'll just go where is the vendor where is the vendor okay, here also it is not there let's go in the top okay so here it is the vendor now i'm just double -clicking. so now the higher level is the material and the, the lower level is the vendor so what will be happen the material only one material one plan multiple vendors okay so i'll show you how it will work now what you need to do you need to be generated okay so the, if it is already there the combination in the standard it will show you that okay you already have that 363 okay you can use that okay if you still want to be continue you just continue okay enter okay then want to be generate the uh, condition table i'm just generating that okay can you go on mute guys if you have any questions let me know okay other than that you just go on mute. 
Okay. So the packages you, which we discussed, right? So each and every module have their own packages. You can assign to that. Okay, I'm just assigning here. This is the practice hour. I'm just assigning to the local uh, package. Okay. Now the system has generated that the number, and you can see the table name is A906. Now you can go A906, which is created. A906, which is created. Material, plan, vendor combination. So tomorrow, when you maintain the condition records in MEK1, you can see that combination here it is maintained. Value to from and value to. It is very important because when you are uh, uh, planning to generate the report, any customized report. So if the client is asking that I want to see the pricing components like what the base price and the, the validity period and validity to all these things. Okay, the technical team can capture based on these tables only. Okay, so this is very important. Okay, now uh, now you can see that the table which is created. Okay, one table which is created. Now I'll be creating for the 907 if it is there. Okay, okay, it's already there. Okay, now 908. Okay, 908, it is not there. So I'm just entering here in this seat, okay, which is like 906 it is. Now I'm just planning to go with 908. Okay, so in this case, what I'm planning to do, I'll just planning to do material in the lower lower environment. What will be happen lower environment, I'll tell you. Okay. So now higher level is purchasing organization vendor and the lower level is material. Okay, so now, I'll just to creating again here. Uh, what is the combination here? What you want to be create here? The combination purchasing organization. Where is my purchasing organization? Let's go to the top and come down, which is like purchasing organization, purchasing organization. Okay, where is the purchase organization? Here it is the purchasing organization. Okay, so first time the top level is purchasing organization. Then, then what is the next combination which is? Vendor. Okay, so the vendor is in the uh, down, right? It is there in the world. Okay. So let me go. Okay, vendor. I'm just selecting this one. Vendor. Okay. Purchasing organization. Vendor is completed. Now I'll be go for the material. Okay. So where is the material? It might be in the uh, start page. Okay. So it is there here. Okay. Now these three combination: purchase organization, vendor, and material combination. I'm capturing here generate okay i'm generating the table okay okay now there is a 908 which is created table okay now go back and now it is created 908 now i'll be planning for the next 909 let's see 909 is available okay it is already there 910 it is also there and 911 which is also there 912 it is not there so i'm just creating 912 Okay, so this table num names are very numbers are very important because you are assigning to the access sequence, right? There you are assigning these uh, uh, combinations, right? So that combinations are very important. Okay, so you must be remember this that what you created. Okay, now nine twelve vendor plant and metal group. So what is the vendor here? First, I'll go for a vendor in the top level. Then what is the next level, which is like a plant. Then I'll be go for the metal group. Okay, where is the metal group? This is a metal group. Okay. So now these three combinations will be there. I'm generating this one. Okay. So 568 is it's already there. The standard you can use, or maybe you can create one. Okay, so now this is also created. <clears throat> Any questions to on the condition tables? Any questions on the condition tables? So how did you create A912, A9 something? Yeah, A is the sequence of A will be giving like, okay, if it is the pricing pressure, it will be A. If it is output, it is a different B, or it may be. So if you see that uh, last time batch moment we created, there it is a different, okay? So 
the first so abbreviation continuously a91 something uh, which page is that which page page i mean screen which screen in the condition uh, it will create a9 something uh, okay okay so you are creating the tables right condition table based so on the condition yeah yeah automatically came right yeah is that giving that whether it is a pricing procedure or it is output determination so because this condition tables we are designing for the n number of procedures not only for the pricing procedure okay we are using for the st pricing procedure we are using for mm pricing procedure we are using for the okay uh, again output determination we are using for the batch management process so the n number of process it is there condition tables it is not only for the mm pricing procedure the condition tables we are creating for n number of procedures are there so how you know that this condition tables this nine quality is created for the mm pricing procedure how system knows that okay it is giving that a912 so a912 is the it is like a material pricing procedure that means mm pricing procedure so it is using for the mm pricing procedure if suppose there is a one combination if i just see okay i will just show you one more combination Okay, which is that this is the one company. The pre code, sir. This one general table display. I see 69. Okay, okay. Uh, you forgot, huh? then I see 69 table view, table okay. display. Okay, you can see now this is the KOTS 904. That means till this is the table and this is the identification of the procedure. What the procedure it is. So in this procedure, the I am using this KOTS 904 is for the batch management okay so like a is the which is for the mm pricing project okay st pricing project mm pricing project all pricing projects will be like this clear yes sir okay now i created a condition table so any questions on the creation of the condition table no no okay now let's go to create the access sequence so what do you mean by access sequence what is the meaning of the access sequence? Searching strategy, strategy for finding correct condition. Finding the pricing, pricing, pricing from the uh, the combinations. Okay. So now I'll be going to here. Okay, condition, and I'll be go to pricing procedure. Then I'll be go to so condition tables are ready now. I'll be go to access sequence. So I can define my own kind of the access sequence or maybe you can use the standard also you can use the standard also okay so you might be take the help of the copying that okay so triple zero two is the gross price which i'm just copying that okay then i'm just planning that okay just double zero two okay so i'm just creating that okay this is for the testing condition access sequence okay so just double zero two which is already there i'm just using something like jet nine jet nine zero two Okay, now it is copying all, copy all and enter, 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 enter all the all the condition tables which is a copying there. Now it is copied and I'm saving now. Okay, but but my recommend it, it is not my exactly recommend because you just copied and in the table zero two they might be have the different con condition tables. If I just go to access sequence. 002 if i just go to access here i can see that there are multiple tables are there which is a standard table which is i'm not i want i don't want to use these combinations i don't want to use this combination then what i can do okay then what i can do i'm just to uh, going to the okay go going to here in the z902 which is i'm creating for this and i'll be go here okay then what I will do, I'll be uh, uh, deleting this all the entries, okay? deleting the all these entries, and I'll be creating my own entries. Okay, clear. Okay, so what I can do now, I'll be uh, uh, creating that my own uh, combinations, which is like maintaining the pricing information. So what I'll do, I'll just go to new entries. Okay, then I'll be putting like one, okay, number six, this is a sequence. You can use step 5, 10, 5, 10, 15, 20, or 1, 2, 3, 4. 
you can use an so what is the sequence it is like okay so now i'm just creating here one the sequence which is like one is like nine zero what is the what i'm created here one is which is nine zero six which i created so i'm entering that nine zero six okay and x exclude okay now the combinations will be match what we maintain in the condition table that is captured here okay then again the second sequence which is like what i created here 908 okay so 908 which i'm entering so then enter okay then the combination will be captured here okay the purchasing organization vendor material combination which is created like tree i'm just creating tree which is again 912 okay then i'll be creating 912 Okay, then exclude indicator then enter okay so now you can see that the combinations which is we created i can see that all this thing which is captured here okay now i just want to see the whether the fields are it is captured or not okay the technical technical information which is captured or not so you must be select here and you click on the fields okay then enter then you can see the system will be capturing information that okay material plant and vendor so it is checking that the structure and the document fields all these things it is capturing here okay the same way the second thing also you have to be do for second also select fields enter enter then you can see that the purchasing organization vendor all this technical information which is captured then again Todd also you have to go fields and enter okay now this information also captured now, sir, KO, K, sir, yeah. KO MK is identification of a pricing bridge. Jara. No, it is the Fields. structure, it is a pricing structure. The, okay, okay. the technically database level, okay. So it will be storing in the one structure. Every process, every information which is storing in the structure, either table or it is in the structure. Okay. So in this case, this is the structure. Okay, database database structure it is. So it is a completely technical okay so now you don't need this information okay later we'll discuss about that what is the technical information okay it's completely technical clear okay okay so this is a just structure like uh, where exactly the storing in the database table and what structure it is saving okay how we can capture this information that is a entirely it is a technical information okay now I have created this uh, combination now saving this one now i'll be go back so as we discussed that i don't need all this information okay i don't need all this information so what i can do i can delete here if i not delete it then what will be happen this combination also will be captured this combination also it will be coming in the while we are maintaining the pricing conditions okay now i'm deleting this one i don't need okay Okay, and save. Okay, now there is a requirement field is there. So what is the what is the impact of this requirement? Okay, if there is any uh, customization which is required, how this price needs to be calculated, how this pricing there is a formula which needs to be calculated or something which is which is completely not standard. And if you want to be go customization, what you can do? you need to be maintained that where exactly it should be like okay if it is no delivery cost or rounding release order okay so like you can take if it is related to rebate then if it is when there is a rebate provision you can write the logic like inside the logic you can write what exactly the condition which you want to be right okay so that what will be happen when the rebate pricing provision which is capturing and when this the formula which is matching the system will be checking that what technically customization will done based on that system will be calculated. Okay. So wait, it will become in the node. We'll go in the program. Okay, we'll go in the program level inside program. See here, they will write the technical team mapper will write the logic here. The condition, what it is required, how the volume value based on uh, how it will be calculated, all these things it will be calculator okay clear 
So this is completely taken care of again. Okay. So when there is a customization which is required, on what basis and how it should be calculated and where exactly this should be impact, those everything based on the requirement type you can define. Okay. Clear? Now uh, you don't need this all information currently. Okay. So just understand first the procedure, then we'll be going with the technical. Okay. So now taxi sequence is created. So what is the re here when i'm using when i'm using this jet 902 access sequence okay then the system will be searching that these are the combinations you can maintain the price okay this combination you can maintain the price clear any questions here no question. any question okay now let's go back okay then i'll be maintaining this access in the my condition type okay so define condition type. So as we said, standard, we have the a number of condition types are there, PBW0, PBWX, FRA1, FRA2, FRA3, like we have the such standard condition types are there. Okay. If you want to you your own condition type you want to be designed, you can design. Okay. So let's say time dependent condition type is there, PBW0. So I don't want to be disturb the standard one. Then what you can do, you can create, copy and uh, create your own condition type. Okay, like that P1, which is for testing, I'm creating for. Okay. So, and save. Okay. So, then this condition type was created for the time dependent. So, then you can assign this condition type. Inside the condition type, you must be assigned the access sequence. What access sequence I created here again? I have created that something Z902. Okay. So this is the my condition type. So this is the my access sequence and this is the my condition type. So when you are planning to maintain this price for this condition type, the system will be searching that what access sequence it is assigned and for this access sequence, what combination you are maintaining. Okay. So what combination it is maintained? Sorry, it is going out. So what axis sequence in the Z902? Z902, which is I created Z902, which is like axis sequence that Z902, which will be have the these three combinations. So that three combinations, it will be, uh, it, it will be allowing to maintain the condition record. Okay. Is it clear? Sir. Okay. So I will, I will explain this inside or uh, the condition type to, what is the how it will be like how it will work like okay because okay so do you know that how it will works like if i'm going to condition type okay so how system will understood that whether it is a gross price and whether it should be uh it will be like uh, tax information or it may be basic information or it may be uh it is a delivery cost how system knows about that based on the condition that system will not understand right so there should be some parameters so okay when you are using the pb00 okay i'm just giving that configuration like okay this condition type is maintaining for the delivery cost that means whenever you maintain the price for this condition type this system will always thinking that okay this is the flight related it is a delivery cost related okay it's not a fixed price it is not gross price it is not okay tax price so that setting should be it will be there in, inside the detail you can go to inside there will be a condition type class and condition type and condition category okay group condition manual condition okay automatic condition item condition okay all it will be coming here in this one okay and whether this is a plus or minus also if suppose it is a discount then it should be uh, reduce the cost that means i'm getting the amount back i'm not paying so that is not plus it is minus right so it is a plus or minus or it is a price or it may be tax or it may be some delivery cost or it is a based on the quantity it is calculating or it's based on the PO it's calculating how it is like and the basic price what is the category of this price so all these settings will be there here okay you can go to each and individually like you can understand that in the condition tab class okay so can it, the, what type of the class it is is that discount or it is a price 
or it may be tax or extra pay okay or it may be tax classifications okay that information will be there and calculation how it is calculated is it calculating fixed amount or it is calculating on the quantity or it is calculating on percentage how or weight or gross weight formula how it is like okay so that is the category so calculation type and category what is the category it is like again base price basic price or it is like tax price okay and packing price or it is a delivery cost how it is like insurance cash discount okay that information will be there here okay so based on the condition type details okay whatever it is there based on that the system will be understood that whether it is a delivery cost or it is a basic price or it is a tax condition type or it is a something which is like insurance or some, whatever it may be so it will be based on that it will be understand okay and coming to here again it is a header condition item condition if it is header condition then what will be happen for all the line item it will be applied suppose i just said it, the entire total po value then percentage insurance is compulsory then it is not item based it is entire po value so that is the condition header level so if it is a 10 items 20 items 30 items in the po it is applied all entirely for all the items 10 percentage insurance or 10 percentage packing charge okay so that will be the fixed it is there in the header information okay so like you can uh, define that you are uh, all the parameters what it is required okay all these parameters you can maintain okay and here one thing is access sequence if you are not maintained access sequence then it is time independent if it is maintained then it is time dependent okay clear is it clear so you can see there are a number of standard condition types are there for a one okay which is fried on percentage and value and quantity what is the percentage if my total value is thousand rupees ten percent is i'm just saying on thousand rupees ten percent is hundred rupees hundred rupees is the fried if it is a fixed value even if it is a ten thousand twenty thousand thirty thousand PO value i'm just saying that fixed amount is thousand rupees fried cost so it is not based on the percentage of the value so it is a fixed value pieces per quantity then if i order 10 pieces each piece cost they are charging for 10 rupees then if it is 10 pieces 100 rupees 20 pieces 200 rupees 30 pieces 300 rupees so when the quantity which is increasing automatically the price will also increase okay clear so this is the way it will be controlling okay so that is the condition types we are defining here okay in this condition type we are defining so as of now what we did condition table axis sequence and the condition type right so any questions as of now